Yes, sir. So. Do mess our pardon. Our master d distiller spills quite the cause. Now settle your mind, chum, and get your shine on. Be will it what? <laughs> Be will it what? What are you saying? M moon, mountain, dark, coming r r right up. A man of proper t taste. I'm not a man. Uh, hello? Are you all right? To chum yourself up and whisk the old luggy to chug bug you. So be what? So be what indeed, my friend. So be what indeed. Good talk. My, my do you have the ledger? Do apology, madam. You have a key. We didn't get to inspect this guy. I would have liked to. You don't have the ledger, though. That's somewhere else. Here. Where does that go? What is this? No more drink. Right, supposedly the ledger should be around here. No drink. Look around a little bit more first. You guys still sort of have like half his co half a consciousness. The core almost looks real. Superb. Encore. Hmm. Where is the damn ledger? Is it upstairs? Maybe it's be it's probably beyond the locked door. I wonder if they're looking for some more stuff now. Oh, we talked to you already. Yeah. Huh. Uh, clutter the pardon. Rat bat. Something over there. Madeline's ledger. Oh. The words for the attention of Dark Justicia Natasha are written across the top of every page. An excerpt from the last page. Morning, day 15. Zizmon Noak said Catherick wouldn't hold on to Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18. Imani Atakni claimed it was unfair the Thorms had the cushiest jobs. Night, day 22. Mark Jacobs, <laughs> the brand. Benjamin Blanchet made jokes about the Thorms, especially Lord Catherick, said he was a misery guts, a weeping nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful, Lady Natasha, but they're some of my best friends, and I've never heard such talk out of them. They were upset over their wages being cut, and were the drunkest I've ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad, but hand over heart, you've never met two gents more devoted to Our Lady, I swear it. A different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss will be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat, I promise. So this is like a report written by a Sharon to a Dark Justiciar. It's not really a ledger of... But. I was expecting transaction records. Sorry. Terrible. But at least we got it now. And this is the lady who died already, because that guy killed him. He who was. Rat bat. Nice, but not nice enough. Okay, well this was a thing. This goes elsewhere? How far does it go? I wonder if they're looking for some more stuff now. This is still part of the distillery? Yup. Can't keep me out. Wow, we're getting some really high rolls for dexterity these days, which is nice. Got pretty lucky with the guy there. Icarus Gloves. When the wearer deals acid damage, they also inflict Noxious Fumes. Oh, Noxious Fumes was, was really bad in that one battle. Maybe we should give that to somebody. Acid damage? Anybody do acid damage? I think maybe Will? Research notes.
research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distiller Thizzable Thorm sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. He devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thisbald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, <laughs> and particularly redolent cadavers. Thisbald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Oh, do you want us to go get the package? I thought you wanted me to go to the mausoleum. Focus your eyes on the page. Mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. That's kind of crazy if you can do it. And it turns out we can. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison. Recipe unlocked. Sure. We need more healing potions, maybe. Hmm, anyway, that's for a different thing. Alright, it means we're not done here just yet. Is it a quest? It's not exactly a quest. Which recipe was it? Oh, but we have so many. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see. Oh. You set your eyes on the poison described within requires corpse rose petals. The distiller ordered a packet of them. Yeah. We'll probably come back. So that's why... Be wary. This place is trapped. That's why those gloves that we picked up had the noxious fumes effect, because he was working on it. The Waning Moon, consignments. Deliveries are recorded here in a careful hand. The rear pages, however, are devoted to the distiller's personal reflections. Ten Tarsak. Father Catherick's reach begins to extend beyond Wraithwind's borders. The Thorms are but collectors. Collectors of coin, glory, blood, and more yet. I, however, collected that which holds the most value. Information. The mason caught my eye. Straight are his steps and faithful are his words. For as long as drink does not touch his tongue, two drops of Blackfire whiskey, and he sings his heart's true name. He calls father a tyrant, a coward, a traitor. He beseeches the Moon Maiden to shine upon him once more. Hmm. The Moon Maiden. Dangerous words, I have told father. He will surely silence the mason and make him an example. Meanwhile, the mason draws his heresy. It is all I can do not to mock him to his very face. So this is after the whole Thorn family got converted to... Sharonism already. Somehow. Six, flame rule. My own methods used against me. The ale she fed me was poisoned, and by my own hand. My truth serum was all too effective. I professed a lot. The poison drinks, Malice's treatments, the interrogations, all of it. She means to reveal our schemes to the Baldur's Gate authorities. Unless, of course, I grace her palm with more gold than Geringithi could muster. Father would have my head if he knew. Or worse yet, donate me to Malice. Malice, some experiment guy? Such is my good fortune that I possess all manner of barrels. She should make a perfect fit. Have we heard Malice before? I feel like I hmm, kind of vaguely remember it. 23. Elliot. The Harpers came too close. They poisoned Father Ketherick himself. Yet he professes no ill effects. Malice insists in a fluke. Doctor he may be, but he is no less a fool for it. Father has achieved that of which I can only dream. Immortality. I have long suspected. I can guess Father's purpose, but I cannot fathom the means. Hmm. Feels like that's a book we should bring back to Jahira. 
some clues here and there. It's not just for recreation. He was definitely doing some scientific research here as well. Something over there. Nice. There's a trap here. It's not hard. Yeah, with this with this many bonus stuff, we, we got the dex rolls pretty figured out. For Wellens at least. in here chests I can't see let's turn on the lights no oh 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 my must be what's left of that would-be extortionist which extortionist skeletal remains uh all right that's it On Serpent Venom Toxin. This is a recipe, right? Would you like to know something interesting? If you mix suspension of venomous fang with the vitriol of Loth's Candle, any vitriol will do. Out comes a poison. Drip, drip, drip. When in doubt with alchemy. When in need of ecstasy. When my throat clicks with scream. Drip, drip, drip is what I dream. It did not work. The Platinum Scale Plan did not work and I hurt so badly. Nice way to learn a recipe. No, I think that's it. It's a dead end here. Hmm. Well, we learned a little bit, but not enough. We learned that whatever we need to know is at the mausoleum. I feel like I should go back to the moonrise again just to quickly check if we did everything we could do, though. We'll see. Finally, we'll see. There might be some more drink for the rest of us. This is it? Seems like it. Wait, there are some other rooms here? No, this is the outside. The Big Game Book of Little the Drinking pub. Games. Oh, Pain we'll spree, gather your pack, capture a gnome. Fun. One by one, your chums gloat. How to best maim the gnome. An alphabet I ickle order starting with A. Come up short, take a drink. Last chum standing gets to kill the gnome. It's kind of cruel. Example, arrow to the bollocks. Break its shins, club its head with the broken shins. Ugh. Stoned. Get a stone, invade an inn, kill everyone there. Fill ten tankards with ale. Arrange them in a triangle on each side of a table. Long ways, you fool. Or arrange them first and then fill them, I don't care. Put half your chums at one side, half at the other. Take turns throwing the stone at the opposite tankards. Get them in? Drink it dry. Ten empty cups? Your team loses. That's beer pong. <laughs> Winning team gets to yank a single claw from their choice out of the loser's feet. Deal a drink. Attack a village with your pack. Keep killing until a chum loots a deck of cards. Choose a dealer. I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's just details on whatever cool games they have here. Torturing gnomes, killing villages. The people here weren't very Drink nice to begin with. Halflings and gnomes order here. Wow. What? So that they can they can get tortured? Can I have this? Is this is this camp supplies? I think so. I don't see it here. Yeah, it is. Because it'll automatically. Oh no, it didn't actually. Did it automatically send to camp? I can't tell. Whatever, we're fine. I think it did. Whoa. I've got bags and bags. No, that's it, I think. Alright. 
Well, we didn't have to fight anybody here, so I consider that a big win. I didn't- Oh! What? I think the little- the little raven guy. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'll return your leisure, alright. Chill. Jeez, I'm just looking around first. That means that guy's always stalking me then. He knows exactly what I'm doing. He's been... watching. Hey, would you look at that? Anything else interesting around here? Hmm... Maybe not particularly. I don't think we can go up here, can we? No. A little raven guy speaks too. We should talk to him. Should talk with Will then when we go back later. What's this place? Well, this is a little bit of a different place. It's going up a little bit. Brewer's alchemical stash. Mmm, mmm. That's been marked. How are you going down? Oh! What? Please. Oh my... What the hell is... Oh, yikes, Wellens. What was that? The pathfinding. I thought the pathfinding avoids damage on purpose. All the time, but <laughs> clearly not the case. Gosh. Just wanted to look on the side here, that's all. Hey. That might be worth a look. Where? What's worth a look? Oh, there's a mound there. Someone died on the toilet. Seems simple enough. Are you guys want an easy way down? Lucky you. Not so lucky for Wellens. What's the key for? I pick up so many keys, but I never know what it's for. I just have to hope that I... am making use of it. Just random distillery-related stuff. Okay. Big distillery. This Thorn family runs this whole town. Wraithwind Town. Mm-hmm. If we keep going this way, this is gonna go to other stuff. Should I go back to... that guy first? Yeah, let's. We will leave soon enough. Leave! No, not until we've dealt with Madeline. The Raven wants them to leave? Hello? The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. Well, the raven saw me take it. Tell me why you want it first. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. How do you know I have the ledger? The raven always knows. According to what we read of the ledger, it was a Sharon. Madeline told on her two friends who... What was it? It felt like their beliefs in Sharon were shaking or something, and then probably they got killed because of that. Doesn't seem like I can say too much more, though. I can either leave or just... give it. Okay, take it then. We have it. Her lies, her guilt, 
Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. Let's see what she has to say first. Careful. For a serpent in life is a serpent in death. I'm just here with Will in case the raven talks. Witness. <sighs> Some advanced medium magic. Are you going to make her possess your body? You. He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. This feels really risky for this guy. He just brought her into his own body. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. Well, that's that's usually code for a little bit more. If it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? The Dark Justicia said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never Ooh. said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. Would you really have? Because I'm thinking... <sighs> If you made a decision to not tell the Dark Justice CR about what you saw and what you heard, and then later they found out, oh, you were hiding something from me, and then they ended up hurting you, would you have preferred that ending? Or would you have preferred your friends getting hurt? It's a difficult one because it's now it's talking about yourself. You're already dead. Your friends are already dead. I don't see the point in further... Like, what are we going to do? Banish your spirit to the Shadow Realm? I don't think you meant it on purpose. Maybe a little bit naive to think that the Dark Justice CR wouldn't have done anything, but... I, I just don't see why we're trying to do a punishment after death, beyond death. There is nothing you need to do. This wasn't your fault, I promise. Understanding that this might piss off the elf guy? They don't need convincing. Whoa! 35. What I did was wrong. And I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank you. Depart. Don't come back. You were supposed to make her suffer! Not forgive her! What's it to you? What's your role in this whole story? You're not in the story at all, right? Why does it matter to you so much? <laughs> Tempted to say the last one. <laughs> what happened wasn't her fault. She deserved forgiveness. That doesn't matter! I seek the guilty, the tormented, the anguished. Oh, you're feeding off their emotion. You have crossed me. And for that, I end your pathetic life! Acolyte. Shadowheart inspired. Prevent he who was from completing his task. It sounded like he didn't actually care about the truth. He was just somehow, like, collecting all the, the guilty, tormented emotions of people for, for some reason. Thoughtless. Maybe it's in his name. Shadarkai Gloomweaver. Weaving Gloom. 
What would have liked to learn a little bit more about you, but our paths diverge, I guess, and that's the end of that. Uh, Will is a little bit too close to everybody right now. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. I can't really get away. Okay, whatever. Still doing all right. Oh, I should have done this one first. Uh, I'll do it on this guy. Burden of Time Aura. Beasts and humanoids have disadvantage on saving throws while within three meters of this creature. Elves are unaffected by this temporal magic. We should get away if we can. Another fight. Let's go. I'm holding a torch. That's okay, I'll just do some key attacks and whatnot. Time for some bloody work. Oh, Wellens! Don't create opportunity to attack like that. Oh, did you... No, okay. Yeah, yeah, you still have your attacks. You're fine. That's what I thought. Wait, did I just get affected by the... Why am I being affected by the burden of time? I thought it doesn't affect elves. Aren't I an elf? A drow elf? Is a drow an elf, after all? I don't even know, man. Good. You have been judged and found wanting. I'm sorry, man. I killed your bird. In cold blood. We good? Oh, this guy doesn't stand a chance. Got to keep fighting. And to be fair, it's not it's not fair at all, because it's like four against one right now. Does Shadowheart have anything that doesn't use slots at all? I don't think we should spend any slots here. Firebolt? I know Firebolt's not the greatest for her, but it's free. <laughs> That's the price oh, of Karlak. stuff being free. Let's go time. Do I even really want to rage? I guess that's free too. It takes one of those uh, rage charges, which I guess we have plenty of. Fine. Oh man. That was that. Return at once, a plain unadorned note. He who was, what ails thy mind? The queen was clear, a full retreat to the Shadowfell, with all due haste. You beheld the fate of lovers whisper. After a ten day in the darkness, she knew not her name. These lands are rich in tragedy and memory, but our minds are vulnerable to the malignant curse. Lovers whisper strangled her own raven this morn. Her raven! The queen was incensed at the loss of her child, and struck lovers whisper down, as was her right. Return at once, or I will be forced to report your desertion. Of thine will. Lover's Whisper is another one of the people of thine will. That's just how their names are. And they all have ravens. They're not supposed to be here. Hmm. That's why the raven was talking about leaving. Because they're prone to the curse too. Why did they stay? See, the, the lands are rich in tragedy and memory. This is just what they do. Shadar Kai? Elves transformed by the Shadowfell until nothing remained but a mournful, joyless existence between life and death. That's... Again, would have liked to learn more about them. They have a queen. They have ravens. There's... A lot about their culture I don't know for sure. I'll take this just in case if I come across any of them again. Well, everyone here is dead. I guess that's the end of that. I do wonder what he would have been able to do to Madeline, though. She's already dead. You can make her suffer even more by telling her, No, I don't forgive you. Beyond that, can she still physically suffer? I don't know. But I think... Probably... <laughs> we just stole Madeline's money. Well, she doesn't need it. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. That's that, then. Probably, if we want to continue anything, we gotta go north. North of Wraithwind. What about here? 
Have we been here before? Check this area out first? Or do you think maybe it'll connect over here? That would be nice. Oh, this is behind the house where we had the ambush with the drider. We just never looked at it. Looks like an ambush. Measle. Ambushing. Twisted, cruel hermits affected by the shadow fell. Imbued with magic, they move through the shadows to snatch their victims. We're not in the Shadowfell right now, right? The Shadowfell is even worse than here. Affected entity will attack as soon as its enemies are within reach. It can only be spotted with a successful perception check, which we did. Good. Home. Can we... If we... Can we ambush them back? Like, if this little dude goes invisible and tries to, like, scout up ahead. Yeah, yeah, that works out. Just five of them. If I start the battle right now, will they be surprised? Is that blood? Don't no, really want to move mind. anybody here, because if I get in range, the battle will start. So I guess I... sure. Give it a go. Right. Everybody became surprised. Nice. No time to waste. Nice. Oh, the light is an issue. Just get this guy to begin with then. Reapply hex. Just go. Yeah. What's the best way for us to get light over there? By having Shadowheart walk in the middle of it all. <laughs> Harlack. You can't go around here, can you? You would have to jump over and stuff. Mm, I want to get you first, if possible. What else did you perceive? That was a bonus action, which we used for the jumping. That's it for now. Blood comes easy these days. Swift as my feet can carry me. Go in and bring a torch over there so people can see. I think these will be relatively simple battles for now. At least there's not an eyeball here, right? That's what I'm really scared about. It would be nice to see them do, like, the skills they do, though. Sometimes we're kind of flying through them. Not that I'm complaining at all, okay? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, get over here. What's that? On I go. And just kill this guy normally, easily. Oh, come on, Shadowheart. Come on. It's a smaller battle. I don't even want to waste the slots. Because these come back per long rest. It's kind of annoying. We'll be fine. Will. That. Like that. Nice. The Hex has to be reapplied every new enemy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we're good for now. Hmm. What's that? What's what, Carlock? Think about it later. How do we get that guy? He is a little bit too far for me to even jump over there. Can you walk down, Carlock? Incoming. We'll get this guy and then maybe you can... Maybe Wellens can jump up over there. Yeah. 
It's already gone. My god. Oh no, she can't reach. That's a shame. Ah, just out of reach. That works. Where do I go from here? I'm not sure actually, because there's no is there room enough for us to jump? Yeah, there is. There should be. Oh my goodness. They barely got to attack. In fact, I don't think they'll get to attack before we destroy them all. Oh, they can teleport. Oh! Garroding! <gasps> what is that? See, this is why we have to learn new attacks. Let them attack so we can see what they can do. Garroded. 10 turns. 3 to 18 damage per turn. Affected entity is being strangled by a garrote. It is silence and takes 3 to 18 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. If the entity and the garroder move more than 5 meters apart, the condition ends. Thankfully for us, I think we're going to be able to finish the battle fairly quickly. But that's, uh, that's something to be aware of. Because that's actually quite dangerous. Like, if we didn't get the surprised first turn, maybe this would have turned out pretty badly. Shadow Heart, would you like to move a little bit? No, you can't move. That's part of the condition. It's the same amount of turns. If you can't move, then maybe someone else can push you out of the way, I guess is the thinking. Or maybe you can do Misty Step, that sort of thing. Hey, I've never tried turning invisible before. With this, this thingy, you want to try it out? Can you? Doesn't change anything though, you turn invisible, but... You still can't... You're still being eroded. Oh! 14 damage, my god! It's insane. Too dark? What? It's literally right here! How is it too dark? Will! Aren't you being hexed? It's already being hexed. Let's go. Oh, the disadvantage is crazy, actually. Damn. Then in that case... Can I turn this off? You can see the, the chain around Karlak's neck. My goodness. Oh, come on! <laughs> One! One left. I won't give in. I've gotta just kill this guy first. Um. T -t 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 -t. Nice. Remove the condition. Now we gotta do it for Shadow Heart. How far can I go? That's gonna take a bonus action. Is my bonus action? I was gonna push it away. It's okay, let's just get over there first. If we can. Right, I can stun you maybe, but I can't push you out of the way just yet. Oh no! Oh no! Because it's stunned. It's like a concentration spell kind of thing, right? So it stopped it anyway. I see. Okay, we're learning some new things off this battle too, even though it's supposed to be not a huge battle here. That is good. Got to concentrate. Whenever creatures get into melee range of casters, spellcasters, it gets kind of... everything gets kind of dicey. I'll just heal everyone, I think. And then at this point... Are you weak? I'll just do a necrotic damage. Shadow Heart, what is going on? Missing everything left and right. Yeah, I definitely felt like this is the kind of battle where probably it could have gone a lot worse. Depending on how many of our guys were being eroded. 
Good thing we know that's that's a thing that can happen, I guess. Oh, Potter's chest. So we have the blessing now, the blessing from the pixie, but because of the darkness thing, I feel like we still need to carry the torch around, unless if we have a different strategy to deal with the darkness. For Wellens, it's okay, because I can just use those attacks, the unarmed strikes and all that, but yeah. Luminous Gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, the target receives two turns of radi radiating orb. Minus one to attack rolls. That's not bad, but not the best. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> Shadow Heart! Hey, Shadow Heart! Guess what's here? Gift for you. <laughs> oh, what was that note? Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Halfred, in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name Last Light not be important. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Oh, this is part of the Saluna Resistance stuff. The Mason's Guild seems to have been the center of the Saluna Resistance. We should seek it out. We're close to it right now, aren't we? No, there is a divide. Maybe we can cross over over here? We'll have to see. Oh no no no, there's a there's a bit of a bridge here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well we'll see. How are we looking though? Should we rest already? We are Shadow Hearts a bit hurt. Short rest? Well Wellens is a little bit out of key points. Awake and alert. Okay. Random measle creatures. Sure. And that's it for around here. I'm gonna go this way first then. Whoa. Oh, they're just torches. Wait, are they like glowing? What's happening here? Continual flame. Flames that produce no heat and never seem to die out. Something... Something is happening here. True soul! True soul. Are we gonna get ambushed? I'm almost waiting for it. No? True soul. Hi, half elf. You don't look very true soulish, and you're dead. Corpse regards you lifelessly. They have the amulet. How did you end up here? <gasps> Trapped shadow mastiffs repels them with flame. Oh, you made those torches? That's crazy. You're dead, but the spells are still working. Dogs in the distance. Just outside the light for now. How are the torches still burning? Spell! Continual flame! Oh, so maybe sustaining a spell takes less effort than I thought it did because she's freaking dead and it's still working. Why would I want to extinguish it? How can I extinguish the torch flames? Destroy torches! Do I want the dogs to come? How did you die? Unslaked hunger, unquenched thirst. Where are you from? To water deep born. Oh, rise cold. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Did she get tadpoled and then she was called to Moonrise? 
Or did she somehow feel a pull to be here and then she got tadpoled after that? I'm just wondering how they're getting everyone everywhere tadpoled up. She's from the same place as Gale, Waterdeep. Hmm. Should we try to destroy the torches or something? It's not exactly a good thing for the purposes of the curse. I don't know. Journal Log of True Soul Corliss. Day 4. Scouting mission dispatched by Ketherick Thorm to Shadowlands. Objective. Locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village. Disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. That didn't work out so well now, did it? We can try destroying them, I guess. Clicking on them does nothing. You want to look around a little bit first before we do that? Oh, this is it. This is the end of the place. Oh my god. This is... Rest in peace, my friends. I hope a better life awaits you. Memnos. Oh, I definitely recognize some of these... ...names. Yeah, 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 Kaldani. I think we've been here earlier, right? Hmm. It's the dead tieflings. Need to find a way forward. Oh, rest in peace. So about the dogs. Do we want to try to lure them over here? I don't know if that would be... That doesn't sound like it would be a good thing. There's a barrier. So they were just... This person was on the edge of finding out where the um, non-believers are at the last light inn. But they died. Didn't get to finish their task. Destroying it with my own torch. Are they gonna come? Is anybody gonna come? Oh god! Oh god! Why do we do that? Because we want to fight these things? Hey! Catherick had a dog, right? We didn't get to look at the dog at all. Shadow Mas Mastiff? Often moving as a pack, these hounds of the Shadowfell slink from shadow to shadow, always on the hunt. Wait, so are we? This is not Shadowfell right now, is it? Does it count? Oh, okay. Invisibility. Sunlight weakness. Knock down jaws. Bite attacks from this creature can knock the target prone. So it's like one of those shadows. Hmm. Let's just get the one right in front of us right now. We can get that with no choice but to keep going. Just while lens is fine. Do we want to knock you prone? Wellens has a torch. On my way. Were we not? I'm out of actions. I'll just walk over here, get the torch over here. On the victor's path. Two steps at a time. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god, I left you back here. I just realized you were unlinked. Which is proving to be a good thing now, because you can come into the battle and be like, surprise! Not bad, huh? Hello! Hello there! Back to Will. Forever dauntless. You wanna get the other guy? This guy's too dark, unfortunately. Oh, I keep forgetting. This thing first? We should probably apply the Hex to someone that we think is gonna die later, I guess. Just stay here a little what bit. I do? Let's focus. 
focus on one dude, a few dudes. Sunbeam would be good here. Radiant attacks, probably good. Shadow Heart, what is happening? You're like missing every other attack. That's not good. Blessing of Saluna. Shadow Veil, no more. Coming to get Will, but ended up reeling instead. So this dude here... Oh, this one's... Oh, this is the Alpha. I hadn't realized. This one has more HP. You all right, Karlak? You all right, right? You look like you were a little bit shaken up. Moving. And then we'll just... Good. Do you want to go invisible again? Hang around here. Hang around here. Simply. Because it's going to come to us. We don't have to worry. Ooh! Terrifying howl. Everyone saved it, I think. Why are you... Oh, are you here because... Oh! Because you're obsessed with trying to find the invisible imp. <laughs> even though it's not really the biggest of your worries. Did you even find him? I don't think so. Well, whatever then. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Okay. Threatened. Why is there a disadvantage on him? Let's see here. I'll go Shadow Heart first, maybe. Get rid of that. Shadow Heart can heal herself. Does anyone need healing? Not really. I think we're fine. Okay. Ah, because that guy was threatening me. Now that the threatening is gone, we can do that. The Hex! Do I have a hex on anybody? No. Time to push my luck again. Cutting to the chase. Get rid of the small fry. With a torch. And then. My turn. Yup. I think we'll be just fine. We tried some of these other attacks. Frenzy strike. Want to turn this back on? See how it goes? Reckless attack. Okay. That was more for the sake of attacking these dudes and defeating them, but I'm not sure if we needed to do that for any reason. Just to know that these creatures were here. Just to learn a little bit more about the darkness. Hey, that torch is still working, isn't it? <laughs> sort of. Oh, maybe we, we did it for this. Shadow Cloaked Ring. The wearer's weapon and unarmed attacks the old- Can we rest? You have dogs? Carlike, -like, you have dogs? <laughs> Saying that after we just killed a bunch of dogs. The wearer's weapon and unarmed attacks deal an additional damage against lightly or heavily obscured creatures and creatures made of shadow. That's nice. That's nice, but everybody's rings. Oh, I have invisibility too. Well, this would be good for me though. Unarmed attacks, because I do that a lot. Maybe I'll take away the invisibility for now or give it to someone else. Does anybody else want it? Will? Somebody? Defender of the people. Everybody's got rings on their fingers already. Okay, I'll just leave it like that for now then. 
sure. what to do. Okay. And then we'll just slowly go back down this way. Oh, sorry, this way. We don't have any more rests, so we might want to do that sooner rather than later, so we're not caught off guard. We never know when a battle's gonna start. We really don't. But let me just check out the rest of this side. We just did two battles, so I'm hoping they'll ease up on me a little bit here. What's down here? How do we go down? Here? No? Can't slow down. How were you gonna go down? Oh. Path right here. Be wary. This place is trapped. That was very close. Nice. And there is a bridge. There's a bridge that lets us get back across to where we need to be. Fantastic. Okay, maybe just let me walk across first, because there might be more traps in here. We good? There's a chest behind the vase. A couple turns should do it. Ring of Twilight. Plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. Maybe... Astarian. Harper interrogation transcript. Might be one of their hideouts. Stained towel. Somebody got tortured here. Yeah. Harper in charge. Kaladove Everspring. Transcriber. Luna Shorn. Your name. Doll. Doll Timber, ma'am. Occupation. Farmer, ma'am. Potatoes. A farmer. Hmm. How many guards has Thorm Station at the South Wall, Dull Timber? What do you mean, South Wall? Do not play the fool with me, Timber. The Moonrise South Wall. I don't know, I swear it. Liar! Write this down, Luna. Thorm's spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said, write it down. They were pretty desperate to get a one-up on Ketherick, I guess, but sometimes the methods that they employed. We don't know if that person actually was a spy for them or not, so if they weren't, that would be a little bit messed up. Anything else on the edges here? No? I just want to fill out the black parts, really. But I think that might be... That might be it. No, we haven't been here. Got some good stuff. Nice, thank you. Oh, there was a blacksmith here once upon a time. A forge of some sort. Right, so this is normally how we go to... The toll house. Which we don't need to anymore. So I'll go back this way. Take the other bridge. 